What's up guys and welcome back to another fanboy unboxing. Today I'm going to be uh, doing an unboxing, I guess, of uh, Cave Story Plus. It just came out on the Switch on the 20th. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm, I think it's going to be a great game. To be honest, I never played it when it actually uh, released on P PC in the early 2000s, 2004 to be specific. Uh, it was made by Daisuke Amaya. Um, 95% sure I probably said that name wrong. He made it entirely by himself for a, for a five year period, which is just fantastic. And recently worked with uh, Nicholas, a publisher. At least I'm I'm almost 100% sure I didn't say that one right. But uh, recently worked with Nicholas to get it ported over to the Nintendo Switch. And this is one of the I. I as far as I know, this is actually the only time it's ever been ported into an actual physical release with the exception of Cave Story 3D on the 3DS, which I'm not 100% sure ever came out, but I'm really excited to play it. It's one of the most popular indie games of all time, and I still think it needs to get, uh, it still needs to get the word out kind of a thing. So I'm going to get it out there, even though nobody's probably going to watch this. Uh, so I'm going to get into some close-ups. I hope you guys really enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching. Once you get up close to this case, you really get to see how awesome this art is, even though it's not going to be the same art that's inside the game. Uh, it's just really nice to, uh, it makes it a real collector's item because of this amazing art and I'm really excited to delve into the world. This, the, the art that was on this case and that's actually inside of the manual is really what makes me want to buy this game and really what makes me want other people to check out this game. Uh, plus it shows off how weird and like interesting this game actually is. Plus inside the manual, not only does this game come with a manual, which is so odd, uh, it comes with awesome art. Like you get to see your main character floating around, uh, just all sorts of really, really awesome stuff. It also comes with a CD on the inside of the game soundtrack, which I think is really awesome. It seems like this game comes with just a lot of really cool perks, like it has this nice red velvet bag that comes with a random keychain of three. It definitely does annoy me of the of the three. I luckily got the one I wanted, but uh, it's kind of like a blind bag of keychain, and I'm very excited I got the one I wanted, but having to buy another would definitely be annoying. That's about it for this video. If you guys like it, make sure you click that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe for more of our content. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for our main Fanboy Talks episodes. We post on Tuesdays and Thursdays for random miscellaneous unboxings. Uh, we're going to be doing Let's Play soon and basically everything else in between. Um, if you guys really enjoy this, make sure you click that subscribe button. It helps us out a bunch and obviously keeps you up to date on all of our content. It would be awesome if you guys kept watching because we really enjoy making these videos. If you guys have a topic or anything you guys really want to talk about, put that down in the comments below. I read every comment. I mean, there's not very many of them, so it's pretty easy to read them all. And if you'd like to talk to me outside of our show here, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Hyde Legion. Um, yeah, it's all sorts of fun. You can follow Chase at Standing Ovation, the second O being a zero. That's about it for me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day.